Greetings and salutations, people of the internet. This is Master RBG. And you see what it says right here. You know what it's time for. It's time for another Cheapskate Gamer Challenge video. Now, about two of these videos ago, we did really, really well. Like, we knocked it right out of the park. However, the very last one we did... Not gonna lie, that did not go well. I, I basically got saved at the last minute by Humble Bundle, and I thought that there just happened to be a bundle for exactly what I needed. So, we got some ground to make up for here. So, we got the Autumn Sale. I'm rather annoyed that it took me this long to get to making this video. And I do apologize for that, so let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into it. So, into the old wishlist arena. And let's see what we got. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh. Star crawlers. Oh, I think that might about do. And 90% off, that is a hard one to argue against. RPG, Dungeon Crawler, Indie, Sci-Fi. It's ticking all the boxes that usually tickle my fancy. Alright, I like where this is going. Easy to hardcore difficulty modes. Oh, I think we got a winner on this one. Alright. Fair enough. Ooh, they have a soundtrack bundle. Eh. Yeah, yeah, let's just go with the basic one. Okay, so that's one. Let's see how many more we can get out of this one. Oh, sugar snaps. I didn't actually tell you guys what our dollar amount limit was this time. It's 35. 35 is the magic number for this episode. So, let's try and keep it under that, shall we? Let's see, Deponia Doomsday. I admit, I actually didn't care that much for Deponia. I would only get it to complete the story. Skip it for now. City of Brass. I actually like the look of this one. Ooh, and Tales of Zestria. Zestria? Zestria. There we go. City of Brass. Don't mind if I do. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's from the senior Bioshock developers. And I am a fan of Bioshock, so I will gladly give that one a shot. In fact, I think we passed that game up in a previous Cheapskate Gamer Challenge video because it wasn't on that much of a sale, but obviously, it certainly is now. Tales of Zestria, you know, it's been a long time since I've enjoyed a JRPG. I think we can make do with this. Yeah, I think we can make do with this one. That'll work. Add to cart. Nice, nice. Okay. City of Brass, Tales of Zestria, Strength. You know, I had, really haven't ever gotten the chance to play Half-Life 2. Yeah. Go for it. Add that one. I know, I'm probably like the last person on Earth who hasn't played Half-Life 2, but you know, I know it's not getting a sequel. I know it full well. So why set myself up for that kind of pain? But you know what, for that price, I can do it. I can deal with it for that price. You know, I remember playing this one a long time ago. Yeah, I'll definitely add that one. I don't think we've ever done any skateboarding games on this channel. That This might be our ticket to fixing that. Ooh, Dishonored 2. I do like Dishonored. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Deluxe bundle. Oh, I get it. Okay, so I think at this point, in order to beat my previous record, I'm going to need more than three, so we're going to have to get at least four more games. But we're going to have to play this one a little close to the vest, because we can't pay but so much for the remaining games. Ooh, to the moon. Absolutely yes. Don't mind if I do. There we go. One of these days, Alice. Pow! Zoom! Straight to the moon. Let's see how much of my fan base actually recognizes that reference. Okay. Let's see, we got the basement collection here. Which is nice. You know what? Yeah. Go for it. Look, I'm not even gonna lie. I know I'm padding this one out. I am deliberately padding this one out purely so I can beat my previous record. Uh, we're getting close. A little more than four bucks left. Tiny and big grandpa's leftovers. You know, I keep seeing this one and I never actually I break down and get it. This time, I'm gonna do it. Done. Okay. Let's see, what do we got next? Do Piku Niku. You know, even after playing and reviewing the game, I still don't understand this game. It is so strange. But since I already own it elsewhere, I'm not gonna bother buying it again here. Let's see, don't starve. I could have sworn I have that one on here already. I don't know, there's so many different versions of it, it's a little hard to keep track. Drop seat. Oh, absolutely, yes. I am all about that. This, this, not so much. This was a suggestion from my fans on Twitter. I'm not going to be about that right now. No. No, because that's just, that's weird even for me. And you should know by now, it takes a lot for me to consider something weird. But it is. Very much so. Okay, we should be getting pretty close to the end of this thing. So let's see, we need at least one or two more. I'm not sure how far I'm going to be able to stretch this, but dear lord, it will not stop me from trying. You know, I realize it's a classic, and I kind of want to grab this one. I really do. Let's see, I think I already picked the room. How about the room two? Yeah, got the room two. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Is there like a bundle with the room and room? Oh, there's not, and I feel a little let down. Okay, it's fine, no worries. I'll make do. Boop. Okay. That is a lot of games, and we literally just got under. But you know what? I'm not done yet. I'm going to push it even closer. Because I'm not just any gaming cheapskate. I am THE gaming cheapskate. I know there's got to be at least one that's under a dollar in here somewhere. Actually, you know what? Hold on 
back up to the top. Don't order it by discount. Price. I don't think it understands what ordering it by price means. But okay, whatever. Let's see. Ha ha ha! I knew it! I knew it! I knew there had to be one or two of these in here somewhere. Super Ledge Hop Double Laser? That's kinda weird looking. But then again, so is Bed Lying Simulator. Oh god, help me. Okay, I, I think I'm gonna do it. I am actually going to entertain the idea. So help me. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm getting Bed Lying Simulator because I've taken leave of my senses. That, that can be the only explanation of it. Yeah. Okay, we're doing this. Okay. $34.77. We done it, people. We've succeeded when no one thought we could. Under 35. So close to the finish on this one. Dear Lord, that is close. So freaking close. 23 cents under the limit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am back after tabulating the results, and I gotta say, we may have sent a new benchmark for this series. Okay, so we ended up getting 13 games. We actually stayed in budget for the first in a very long time. We actually stayed, I think it was 23 cents under. We spent $34.77 for what retailed for $207.87. So, very impressive there. Uh, that means we only paid about 16.73% of the asking price for everything we got, which actually beats the previous record of 18.28%. Holy crud, I didn't think we were ever gonna beat that, but you know what? We did it! We paid on average 2.67 cents per game, and the average suggested retail price for each of those games was about $15.99 a piece. So we really, really outdid ourselves on this one. Pat on the back everybody, well done, okay. Now of course this means this next time we do this, it's going to be so much harder to try and beat. but. I'm not one to shirk from a challenge. I will find a way to beat this record. Somehow. I will find a way. But anywho, that's all for this one guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Certainly enjoyed making it for you. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see my nonsense when it gets posted, hit that subscription button and that notification bell for me. And if you'd like some suggestions for other videos made by yours truly, then how about these? Over here, you can check out my previous Cheapskate Gamer Challenge video. It, uh, it didn't go nearly as well as this one did. Or, you can go over here and you can check out my first thoughts review for a game called Littlewood. Check out either one, both fantastic, just like you guys have been. Until next time, this is Master RBG, signing off.